Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on my four favorite candles. I am obsessed with candles, as you can see in the background. You will always see a candle in my background because I feel like it makes the scenery better. And then candles smell so damn delicious and yummy. And I just, oh, just love it, just love it. So I purchased all my candles from Bath & Body Works. If you have any recommendations on other candles that are actually good and smell yummy, please let me know down below. I would love to know. I just want to show you my four candles and if you haven't bought any four candles, I can encourage you to go get some candles. And I always purchase candles from Bath & Body Works when they are on sale. The most I spend is $12.50, the least I spend is $8. So I always, you know, go from that range. They last so long that once I buy them when they're on sale, I honestly don't need to buy them for a very long time. So these candles are worth the money no matter what. So let's just get right into my four favorite candles. The two that I'm going to talk about first is the two that you can use for fall and winter. The first one, I just purchased this recently and it's the marshmallow fireside oh my god this smells like heaven the first time i ever bought this i purchased it online never knew how it smelled but the ratings and the reviews were off the hook everybody was loving this one so i was like let me just try it first time i ever bought um candles from bath and bodywork was actually around winter i would leave the fragrant notes like somewhere around here you do smell vanilla and oh my god it just smells it does smell like it smells like you're roasting marshmallows outside every single time i purchase marshmallow fireside i always buy more than one i never just buy one of these i highly highly recommend this one okay i did purchase another one because this is um almost gone and this is the um, mahogany teak wood this right here this one right here oh my god this was like a ma man in the woods like like it's like a cologne for a man and he just it's like it's, he's all strong and like about to go cut some wood when i smell this that is what i see and it smells so good like this as a man like, it's everything <laughs> it sounds so weird but it's so true this right here is my second favorite. So this one in the back is autumn. It makes the air smell clean, if that makes any sense. So like the mahogany teakwood has a stronger scent that it smells like a cologne for a man. This one smells like an air freshener that makes the room or house smell just fresh and clean. That's what it smells like. Next one I have is sweater 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 weather okay i feel like that's a tongue tie like a tongue tongue twister tongue tie yeah something like that oh this one is for like i just want to get cozy in my sweater okay even though it says sweater weather but this is another one that smells just clean it smells like woods but like fresh i do smell the fresh sage and fresh woods when I say strong scent, I'm not saying that it doesn't linger around the room. They do. A soothing scent, if that makes any sense. It's not intense to the point that you have a headache, but it makes the room smell good. The next one I have is chestnut and clove. This is another one that I had from, since last year. Oh my god, you do smell the, ch the um, chestnuts. Um, pine. Oh yeah, you do smell pine. You do smell pine. So you do smell the pine and the chestnuts, roasted chestnuts. Next is leaves, and of course, this I had since last last year. And I didn't purchase this one again. I should have because it's almost gone. But when I ordered the other candles, I honestly had it upsy here, and then I just started using it. Me, my mom. And now it's almost gone. The scent that you smell the most is the um, warm clove spice. You can smell that. And a little bit of the red, I think it's a red apple. Yeah, the crisp red apple. But more of the warm clove spice, you smell that one. Once I light one of these candles up, I'm like, oh, 
false here. The spice might throw some people off, the warm clove spice, but it's not a bad smell. Next, it's flannel. This one also smells like a man, but it's kind it's sweeter than the mahogany teak wood. The mahogany teak wood is a stronger scent. This one is a sweeter scent. When I think of this, I feel like I see plaid. It might I maybe it's because of color. I feel like I see the pattern plaid on like the on a man. I do smell the soft musk with this and a little bit of the I don't even know the heirloom or her the heirloom mahogany. Um no, you do smell those two mostly. The flannel I did purchase again. So this was from last year and this is how it looks this year. This next one, my mama wanted this because she's in love with what it says and also she drinks all the time. And it's the But First Coffee Candle. Now, I, whew, that's strong. One, I love the packaging, okay? And I think the title's really cute. This smell, I'm not a coffee person, but this smell, it's strong. This is strong, I'm not even gonna lie, but for some reason, even though I don't drink coffee and I'm not a big fan of it, this smells really good and it smells like coffee. My mom, when she wakes up, she likes this once she wakes up and then she makes a coffee. This is last year's Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow and this is this year's. So I purchased another one because I really love the smell. You smell the vanilla. It's weird because it's a Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. You would think that it wouldn't smell so good, but oh my god, it smells so good. Like, it literally smells so good. I just died and went to heaven. So next, this one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. You smell the cinnamon the most in here. The pumpkin, I just smell cinnamon mostly. Sweet cinnamon, that's what I smell. I smell the brown sugar and I smell the spiced clove. If you like cinnamon, this is your thing. The next candle that I purchased recently, that this is, this is actually my first time ever purchasing this candle, okay? It's called the Hot Cocoa and Cream. It says, always a fall favorite, hot cocoa and cream. This smells like chocolate. I just want to eat it. I love chocolate. I mean, if you're not a fan of chocolate, then you're not going to like this. But if you love chocolate, this is something you need to get. The last candle that I have it's the same as one of the candles that I already talked about, but the packaging is totally different and it's because it's a Halloween candle. This is from last year. Um, it says, Happy Halloween. I hope you can see how it looks. It just, it's so nice, okay? And then it says, Boo, right here. These are the same. And these notes says harvest pumpkin, spice, clove, vanilla, cream, brown sugar, right? This one says haunted pumpkin, creepy clove, vampires, vanilla, scary brown sugar. So it's the same thing. It's just a Halloween edition. So I just thought that was so cute. And I love Halloween. So I was like, I want this. This is from last year. I didn't purchase the one I wanted this year. It was actually sold out when I wanted to purchase it. So I was like, you know what, I already have a Halloween one, why not? I'll just keep keep on using this one. This is my last candle, so that means I am done with this video. I hope you made it to the end if you did. Thank you. I know was, this video is kind of like maybe all over the place and maybe pointless. But since I'm doing like a full theme and Halloween theme and all that, I just wanted to talk about my four candles. And hopefully I helped you guys to know what candles you want to purchase maybe you was indecisive and i kind of helped you might have had a laugh or two because the way i describe candles it's hard to describe a scent i'm telling you it's really hard but i tried my best and yeah um one thing i want to say is i love about bath and bride red candles because they have a three wicks meaning it melts evenly not like if it's a one wick it would just melt in the middle if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of me, of course, then just click that subscribe button and then the bell so you can know when I upload my videos. If you have any questions or recommendations or any thoughts, just write down below. You know, I will come back to you. If you want to purchase any of these candles, I will leave the link in my description box. So with that being said, I want to say 
I'm sending all you guys love, peace, and happiness. I mean, like, there's so much craziness going on in the world right now. So much disasters. And I feel like we all need a hug. I hope you have a great day. Think positive. You're strong. You got this. And, yeah. So, see you next time in my next video. Bye.